You guys, I'm so excited. I did not do a 2024 favorites video. What the heck? So we're gonna do it right now. All my favorite products so far in 2024. Let's go. First up is hair. It was really hard to decide on like three top hair stuff, but Amica, Amica, I don't know how you say it, but this hairspray and their dry shampoo, it smells so good and it works really well. I just keep rebuying it. I'm even wearing this today, so you know how much I love it. Recently, I got one of the Teletize, specifically the Teletize claw clips. It's it, I don't know, it doesn't hurt my head. They look really cute. I just got mine at Target, but I'll link a couple different options below. Really into the claw clips lately. Now you guys know I will never ever betray my high school hot rollers for volume and curl ever. These are like top favorite, but I do really, really love my Wavy Talk like volume curler. I have a video on it. I have used it a lot, just a little update for you. Makeup products were really hard for me to, to decide too. Pretty much every makeup product that I use is like an everyday use thing. I don't have just like randomly used makeup products. They are all my favorites. But if I had to pick top favorites of 2024, I'm really into the NYX brow glue. It just stays so well for my brows all day long. I recently fell in love with this rouge color flush balm from Merit. So it looks like really dark red, but it just shows up as a really bright light pink and it just makes you look more alive. You guys know from my makeup videos and just like my day in the life videos, the Glotions from L'Oreal are just a must and I um, mix these two colors. Also obsessed, I have like one tube in my fanny pack and then one that I just keep at home. But this Merit lip oil is a favorite. This is the Lado, Lado um, color and it looks like really vibrant pink but as you can see, it just like looks like a natural color. And I like it because it doesn't, it's not like, doesn't taste weird and it stays on and it's not really sticky. However, it doesn't plump. I love my Dime products, not all of them, but I love a lot of them. So these are my top two. So the eyelash serum, which makes your eyelashes grow. And then recently fell in love with this um, Luminosity Eye Serum. I put it on my under eyes every single night. I kind of have like dark, thin skin under there. So um, it really helps just like puff it up and like brighten it. Last two aren't really, well, this one's not really skincare. I love the Sol de Janeiro um, scents. This is probably my favorite, 71. I only have like three right now, but I can see why people love them. This last one is COSRX um, Hyaluronic Acid. It's temporarily plumping, so don't think that it's just gonna like hydrate and plump your skin like forever and ever, but while you use it, it is awesome. So I actually use it at the end of all my skincare to just seal it all in. And then I recently started using it on my lips during the day and it kind of just like adds to the plumpness of them. Next up is clothing. I don't really have any like huge favorites, but something that has just been a consistent favorite of mine are these like, I won't like hold them out, but they're tea strings from Amazon. Black tea string cotton underwear that I wear under my leggings. I've worn them for years. They don't show lines. Like I just wear them every single day except for at night. Get yourself some. I love these heels from Shop the Merc. Um, I think it's just like mercantile on Broadway. It's a really fun boutique and I just, I love all that they have, but these shoes especially, I feel like they're really easy to walk in and they're super cute. So either get theirs because they're on their website or just get ones that are similar. You won't regret it. Last up on the list for clothing, I'm really into like these trucker hats. So I love the Mama Gang. I have um, a couple different colors. I think it's from Call Her Mama. And I have a Hydra Jug one. I have this one from last year. This was from like Judith March. And then another Mama Gang one. See, I'm just really into the trucker hats. I don't know. They kind of hurt my head right here. Comment below if you have that problem. But there's a company called He Would Love First. And it has a lot of like Christian t-shirts and hats. And this was one I got from there. It says Friend of God. I love it. And they're really cool companies. Next up is gym stuff. So it kind of ties in with clothes. But these shorts from Target, I have this color, black, and like a beigey brown color, basically all the colors that they offer. I think they're $20 and they are so good. So they don't have built-in shorts, which I'm fine with, but it has a built-in like 
underwear. They're high-waisted. You can cinch it right here. I get size medium. They are so comfortable for every day and going to the gym. Clearly, I love my, I think it's just Adistar, Adistar. I don't really know how to say it, but they're Adidas shoes. They're kind of like a high heel, but not as bad as the, what is it, Nike Air Maxes. They're not like that, like stiff. Um, I love them for most every single exercise for running, for CrossFit, um, and for lifting. I will say though, like for squatting and deadlifts, the heel isn't necessarily preferable, but for most things and for every day, they are so cute. Next up is for gym. I use this every day. This is like mom life accessory gym, okay? But this Cal Pack XL fanny pack, let me just show you what it looks like on. I wear it every single day. Maybe it's huge, maybe it's like too big for you, but you can always like flip it to this way if you don't like this in front of you. But it's just hands-free so I can carry my water bottle, I can go into the gym and not have like a huge backpack. I don't know, I'm just a fanny pack crossbody girl versus a backpack, but it fits everything including toddler snacks. Last gym essential is the Hydro Jug shake weights. No, just kidding, they're not shake weights. They are travelers, which are um, no spill mugs. I don't, mugs, tumblers, tumblers. And stay tuned because I have a special collab coming up at the end of the month. I can't even, I can't, you're not, you're gonna die. Next up is house stuff, so come on in. I would say my RoboVac, but it kind of gave me a hard time this month. Um, so <laughs> I still love it, I still use it, and it is a favorite of mine, highly recommend. But just don't run it while you're not home, while your dog poops in your house, okay? It was traumatizing. We have the self-emptying, self-mopping Larisar one from Amazon. Speaking of the accident that happened with my RoboVac, we thankfully had this rug. It's from Tumble. It's not like sponsored or anything. I know a lot of people use Ruggable, but it is a washable rug. And I thought at first that I didn't like it, but let me just show you kind of how it works. I can fit it in my washing machine and dry it in my washing machine. It kind of sounds like it's tumbling in there, but it's fine. It's a washable rug. So underneath there's a pad. And then you have this like sheet. It's not super heavy or thin, it's neither. Um, but I will say if you have like a high suction vacuum, it is a little bit hard to vacuum. But if you have a vacuum that has, like you can lower and raise the setting on as far as suction goes, then you'll be happy with it. It looks good, it's washable, it's, it's so good. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with Minky, my Minky Couture blankets. So my favorite versions are the monster size hug ones. They're like stretchy, see how it like bounces? You can wash it and dry it really easily. Um, those are my favorite, they're just so good, they're so snuggly. And then I also get like this waffle print, but it's not stretchy. And then look at the kids ones. So we got this one for Liddy. It's got like this little thing that you can go on their head, then little mittens and it just like wraps around them. So this is like a hug style, bouncy, stretchy blanket. You use my discount code. My Pura, oh my gosh, my Pura diffuser is a top fave. I didn't think I would love it this much, but I love it so much. It is way better than candles. I literally got rid of all my candles because A, they make Letty, or they make Miley sick. Um, she'll like throw up anytime I light a candle. But this is what it looks like. So you just open it up. It's like a magnet system. Um, it connects to Bluetooth on your phone. So you can turn it off and on on your phone. You can create a schedule for it, but there's two different scents that you can put in there. Or you can, you know, switch it out. I have like all these different scents. Unfortunately, I don't have a discount code right now, but they do have sales occasionally. I try to like put it on my like to know it. But even if they didn't have a sale, I have this one. I have another one in the living room. I have one in the um, in our uh, bedroom, and then I have one in the car. And I leave them on the lowest setting when I turn them on, and they I still smell them everywhere. They don't. They last for a long time. So I just yeah, that's probably one of my like top top products of the year. I smell you everywhere. <sighs> All right, next up, house product, household product. Is this, well, two Ninja things. It's a double basket air fryer from Ninja. And it's just 
awesome. Uh, we use it every day almost, and I don't need to explain it anymore because you know what an air fryer is. This one's just like an air fryer on crack because it has two baskets and you can batch cook both of them at the same time. You can dehydrate things, you can reheat things, you can cook things at different temperatures. Like it's just, it's just good. But the other Ninja product is, we don't have a backyard with, well, we have a backyard, okay. Oh, but we don't really have a grill in the backyard. Um, so we use this Ninja indoor grill and there's like no smoke, no fumes, nothing, no smell. And it grills your food, like not just like a fake grill. It actually grills like charcoal-ish lines on your chicken. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's good. I could go over a bajillion Letty favorites. I feel like as I'm, let's, so let's just do it, okay? Um, hair ties. These little ones from Target that are soft, they don't break their hair. These ones I got on Amazon. They're pretty similar and they, again, don't break her hair. If you are going to use little rubber bands in your kid's hair, just get this little picker so that you don't have to like pull their hair trying to get the rubber bands out. You just do this and it cuts it. So you like insert it and it cuts it. If you're looking for the best thermometer ever, this, I wasn't even gonna talk about this, but I saw it and I was like, yes. Um, this brawn one, the ear one, this is the only accurate one that I have been able to find. I've gone through um, probably five, it's the best. Thankfully, we have like a large area where Letty can bike in the house, bike or trike. So, highly recommend a Strider bike. She's getting a little bit tall for this one, but it helps them balance, helps them learn skills that will translate into actually riding a bike every day. It's an everyday thing. Favorite of the month right now is Letty's bed. She sleeps well in it and I sleep well in it too. So tired. So Letty's really into library books and just going to the library. So that's a favorite thing to do if you have a kid that's similar ages to, um, similar age to Letty. Specifically the Llama Llama books. I don't know what it is, the rhyming, the stories, the illustrations, she just loves. And my mom got her like all the Llama Llama books for her birthday. Um, so highly, highly recommend these. Speaking of books, these are chat books. I really need to do them again this year. I don't know why I didn't. Um, I think it's like $180 for the year, okay? But for me, they're so worth it. So you get to, it just like hooks up right to your camera roll and then you pick like your favorite photos of the month and you get a little book and you can put dates on it, kind of like a scrapbook. You put dates on it, you can put like little um, like lines in it you could even like write your own story about the month with your child so i need to do this year but this is an absolute favorite so i have a problem i letty's clothes are abundant i don't know if that's a problem like a good problem or a bad problem but i love it because i know that i can just sell them someday right i would say i get most of her clothes from old navy or zara so those are favorite brands but recently I went to Target and she's just getting into extra small size of like the girl section, not the toddler section anymore. Look how cute the activewear is. Like this doesn't exist for toddlers, activewear doesn't. These cute little like squirts. They're a little bit big for her right now, but still I'm so excited. Let me show you the other ones. High-waisted little shorts for her. Oh, so cute. And then these little seamless sets. So there's like little seamless bike shorts. I have been waiting forever for her to be able to wear like active wear. So cute. Target, pretty cheap. I forgot the last two things, okay? This little chain from the Cape. <laughs> C-A-E-P. You hook it to your phone, you can hold it like this. Um, or you can put a bigger chain on it and use it as a purse. There's also like wallet magnets that you can put on here. I love the way it looks. And there's so many like different Ooh. cute chains. I got you. And then lastly, Letty, let's show <laughs> him your karaoke machine. Dude. This has been Looking a favorite lately. Signal. Hello. Connected. 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 So I can play like music for Brett. <laughs> she got it for her birthday. <laughs> And she likes it more than the microphone. It's just, ah! it's just a little microphone that we got 
for um, her stocking okay. stuffer. Huh? She likes this one better. So if you can find a karaoke machine, she's all over it. We have concerts. Daddy does karaoke. We dance. It's just all around a good time and a good family activity. But that's it. That is the last favorite. Can you yes. say you're worth it? You're worth it. Subscribe if you haven't. Gosh, you haven't. Like the video. Comment below. Like the video. What else do you want to say? Um, poopy.